हेलो हाय एवरीवन दिस इज सिद्धार्थ राठौर नाउ आई वेलकम यू टू दिस पर्टिकुलर क्लासेस ऑन माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स नाउ दिस पर्टिकुलर सेक्शन दैट वी आर टेकिंग इज फ्रॉम इंटरमीडिएट माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स वन व्हिच इज अ सेमेस्टर फोर कोर्स of economics honors under nep now uh, the topic that we are going to take is general equilibrium and and basically exchange economy now this particular part of the course is extremely important not just from the perspective of your final examinations which are forthcoming but also from the point of view of say entrances like the upsc indian economic services or the or the even the ias or uh, the cuet pg exam uh, or rbi grade b so the relevance of this particular topic is extremely important now to cover this particular topic we have dr komal with us uh, she has done a masters from delhi school of economics and a phd from isi delhi and uh, she has also been teaching at uh, op jindal university now she'll be she'll be taking up this particular topic for for explanation and whatever doubts that you can you are having you can put them on the in the comment section of the youtube video thank you very much so i hand over the mic to uh, dr komal thank you thank you siddharth hello hello everyone and uh, welcome to this video um i'm komal as siddharth already introduced and i have been given to understand that this particular topic is a pain point for um, economic students economics honor students and i completely empathize with you it was a pain point for us also and the major reason is that this does require a sort of um, understanding or sort of perspective that is new to us and if that is not understood correctly we kind of uh, tend to be lost on all these things so um, this is the basic structure of this lecture that these are the points that we will be covering so we'll start with an introduction of what we are trying to do and why we are trying to do this um, then we'll go on to discuss the structure of the uh, uh, economic model that we will study and this is where we'll also introduce the edgeworth box that you must have uh, learned about then we will talk about the concept of uh, uh, welfare in this uh, economic model of ours and we'll use the concept of pareto efficiency or pareto optimality and we also discuss uh, what is a feasible allocation in this uh, context then we will move on to what is called a contract curve i'll explain everything finally we'll see how we reach a competitive equilibrium and in this uh, after this entire discussion we will finally discuss what are the fundamental theorems of welfare economics so these are also called the welfare theorems first welfare theorem and second welfare theorem and we'll see what these theorems are or are all about and what they are essentially saying all right so so first of all let's understand what we are doing huh? so far what you have done you have done uh, what is called a partial equilibrium analysis hmm? uh, partial equilibrium so when we say partial equilibrium essentially what we are saying is that think about it if you are if you were learning about uh, from the production side you were thinking about one product right you were thinking about um, uh, this particular product this particular production function this particular market ha huh? monopoly hua to then you thought ke is particular product mein is particular firm ka monopoly hai right without caring about what was happening in the other parts of the economy right how were those things affecting this particular market and how was this market affecting the other parts of the economy so you chose to ignore them you could have either assume ki baki jagah um, everything else is constant right the cetrus paribus assumption that we have or or you just chose to ignore them you said that okay we will not worry about what is happening there right now we will focus on the particular thing that we care about right now so if if you are looking at consumers then you are only looking at consumers and not worrying about um the production side of the economy right this is called a partial equilibrium analysis where you are abstracting away from movements in other parts of the uh, economy and focusing only on a partial part of it hmm? as opposed to what we will now learn is called the general equilibrium analysis so when we say general then it means that we are considering everything together all the moving parts together huh? so when we are looking at we are also looking at the production side we are also looking at the distribution side we are also looking at the input market we are also looking at the output market right we are looking at the trade we are looking at the internal economy everything general equilibrium because we know that um, whatever happens in one part of the economy will affect and will be affected by things that are happening elsewhere right so then instead of abstracting away from whatever is happening 
hmm? elsewhere we will now put study all the moving parts together right and as you can imagine this is definitely a humongous task right so if you have to consider everything at once then uh, uh, you will uh, at best be lost right so then way to do it is to start small and this is what we will do huh? so we will start small what we will do is we will only start with what is called an exchange economy so what is an exchange economy this economy has no production or rather you can think of that you know how how does the economy work so there are inputs they are employed in the production process there is there's production you get output and then the output is finally distributed among people allocated among people based on whatever their budget is whatever their utility is right we will start abhi hum ye initial process ko ignore karenge hum sirf abhi us exchange or distribution ya allocation wale part pe focus karenge right so this is the economy that we will focus of course and in 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 later lectures and in later in parts of the analysis we will add these other parts of course we are not going to ignore them but within the exchange economy we will focus on everything we will focus on um all the kinds of all the markets that exist right so um this is what is an exchange economy this economy essentially does not have production you can think of this economy where production has already taken place um a certain set of goods exists and the only problem that we are considered with right now is how to allocate or how to distribute these existing set of goods okay so let's discuss the basic structure of this economy this economy will have two consumers hmm? so traditionally what happens is um Uh, this economy was considered that you know there, there's this story called there's this book called robinson crusoe and this book is about this person who is um stranded on an island because this person went on some sort of a sea adventure and there was an accident and this person got stranded on this island where he was alone for a lot of time and after some time another person named friday uh, joined this person and robinson crusoe and friday these two people were living alone on that island Hmm? so to abstract away from everything else to look at this isolated island as a um, uh, as an economy complete in itself this is the story that um, you know the the this is the uh, book that we draw inspiration from but we are indians ha to humko bahut zyada robinson crusoe aur friday se uh, relate hum nahi kar pate this is something that was true for me so what we'll do is we'll we'll give them our some desi names right so we'll work with rahul and we'll work with fiza the reason i've chosen these names is because i wanted to keep the initials same so r is robinson crusoe and r is rahul and friday is also for fiza theek hai the uh, reason is that when you go back to the book that you uh, will refer to you will find the same initials there and then it will be easier for you to relate theek hai so we have two people on this island rahul and fiza and this economy has only two goods theek hai वो दो गुड कोई भी हो सकते हैं इसमें वट दे कंसिडर इज ब्रेड एंड रम यू कैन ऑल्सो थिंक ऑफ एनी अदर गुड्स राइट दिस इज समथिंग दैट इज इसेंशियल दिस इज समथिंग आई मीन दिस इज समथिंग दैट इज इसेंशियल टू ईट दिस इज समथिंग दैट इज यू नो यू कैन थिंक ऑफ एंटरटेनमेंट और लेजर काइंड ऑफ प्रोडक्ट बट एसेंशियली एट दी एंड वील कॉल दम एक्स एंड वाई सो एनी टू प्रोडक्ट्स हाँ एनी थिंग लेस देन दिस सो इफ यू हैव ओनली वन कंज्यूमर then there is no need for any exchange then the analysis becomes moot similarly if you have two consumers but you have only one good then also the there is no exchange koi exchange ki baat nahi hai exchange tab hota hai jab you know there is a, 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 a trade so that you give me some of x and i compensate you with some of y right so this is a trade this is a barter and this is the kind of thing that we will deal with right so two points about this economy first of all as i said there is no production in this economy goods have already been produced or they have been procured or they have been uh, you know uh, found in the nature they have been inherited somehow wo hamara concern nahi hai hum wahan se shuru karenge jahan pe hamare paas initial jahan pe hamare paas ek endowment aa chuka hai there is also no money in this economy so there is no money there is no currency that is going on this is you can think of the economy where all kinds of exchanges uh, take place in terms of goods themselves so that's why it's a barter or a trade economy so any kind of um if you want something that the other has the way you can pay for it is with something that you have and you don't have money you don't you have bread and rum okay 
so what we will do is we will denote capital we will use capital x to denote the total endowment of good x right so suppose x is the total endowment of bread capital y is the total endowment or total available um, amount of y on the island theek hai ab ye total hai to ye kisi na kisi ke paas to hoga right so what is um, uh, what will be true is that suppose uh, acha before that let's use some notations suppose you have to see how to, you have to see how to denote a bundle for rahul ha huh? suppose rahul ke paas kuch initial endowment hoga ya koi bhi endowment hoga hai na maan lo ki 5 units of bread hai 10 units of rum hai so what we will do is we will use x is the number of units of good x and r will be the um uh, subscript which will use which we will use to denote rahul theek hai so x units of x y units of y for rahul similarly x f and y f is the any arbitrary allocation any arbitrary bundle for rahul and fiza respectively theek okay? hai and since we know that there is an allocation there is an availability both of them will start with an initial allocation okay so both of them will start with an initial allocation where we will use this not symbol okay this ye jo hai na not essentially denoting t0 matlab jahan se hum shuru karte hain तो उसको डिनोट करने के लिए हम लोग ये नॉट सिंपल यूज करेंगे सो एक्स आर नॉट वाई आर नॉट विल बी द इनिशियल बंडल और इनिशियल एंडाउमेंट विद विच राहुल स्टार्ट्स सिमिलरली वाई एफ एक्स एफ नॉट एंड वाई एफ नॉट विल बी द इनिशियल बंडल विद विच फिजा स्टार्ट एंड टू आइडेंटिटीज विच विल बी वेरी यूजफुल इज दैट अगर तो पूरे आइलैंड में टोटल एक्स है तो ये एक्स या तो राहुल के पास होगा या तो फिजा के पास होगा ठीक है अगर किसी के भी पास नहीं है तो वो तो and then that doesn't become part of an analysis okay so we assume that there is no hidden resource also we assume that if the resource is hidden then it's something that we are not considering and there is no wastage okay so total initial endowments of excess of rahul and fiza should sum up to the total endowment of x and similarly total initial endowments of y for rahul and fiza should sum up to total y all right so this is the basic structure of the economy to um, uh, consumers to products initial endowments no money only exchange okay and finally we will discuss about their utility theek okay? hai so ab ye hamare paas bundle hai us bundle se utility kitna milta hai wo as usual we will denote by how much how much i value the particular bundle will be denoted by how much utility i get so this will be the notation that we will use the utility of rahul is given by u subscript r and utility of fiza is given by u subscript f so you should uh, note the important thing is that the arguments of this function are only the um uh, is only the bundle that rahul has right so what it means that rahul's utility is only determined by how much bread and rum he has and has nothing to do with how much bread or rum pizza has huh? so this model has no jealousy this model has no altruism theek hai mujhe isse farak nahi padta ke tumhare paas kya hai jitna mere paas hai my utility will be determined by that all right so rahul's utility is given by ur which is a function of rahul's bundle and fizza's utility is a function of fizza's bundle only 